Total power failure. One of those things that you absolutely do not want to see in Factorio. Because we have to kickstart the factory once more. Good thing is, uh, all of this pollution is now going to go away for a while. Bad thing is, uh, kickstarting a factory can be pretty tedious. Now, we have our power setup sitting over here. And I always disliked how it looked because we basically built it uh, like it was just there. Like we would do it, well, we basically place it at random. We can use this opportunity to A, move the power setup and B, make it better. Now, um, I do want to make a oil-powered based uh, system. We set up an oil-powered based system over here, but uh, this absolutely obliterated our tar resources. So that's not what we're going to do anymore. And I think that we could maybe... Well, maybe we're going to keep it over here in this corner, but we do have to move it around a bit. Uh, also, I should definitely make some pumps. At least one. Like two. There's a pipe in here. <laughs> Actually... There we go. Uh, we should also probably pick up some pipes and maybe even empty out our inventory because we are going to pick up a lot of stuff today. So, one of these dump chests. Uh, get rid of this, get rid of this, this, everything that's not required goes into here for now. Definitely not need this. Coke, probably, chromium, no. Next to it, maybe. Actually, chromium, maybe. Put it back in. Definitely no hot sun bricks, no carbon black. Uh, let's keep the ionic operators. Not this, not this, not that. No moss farms. And we're actually sitting on too much copper. That should be fine. So, we actually managed to automate green science last time. Which I'm very, very proud of. But in the exact moment, as we finished up green science, everything shut down. Everything just said, nope, we're out. Let's, first of all, let's go up to the green science center. It's a mess in here, everywhere. There are belts going left, right, center, up, down. Uh, so, the introduction of caravans and red technology. Where is it? Is it over here? Wait, what? Typhoon Bay? Are these the caravans? No. Creature resort for rest, relaxation, and feeding. Oh, we can make power generators out of them! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! We can put them on a the little treadmill. <laughs> Uh, I think we already have the technology for caravans. Um, land animals, aux, xenobiology. It should be under domestication. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh. Oh. Huh? So, is there... Wait. Caravans? Over here. Caravan. We can make one. And then we can make the outpost depots, the paddocks. But it doesn't seem that we can make... Oh, these do require alien samples and a ton of seed DNA. So maybe we should also automate seed DNA. Drexak, 1080p, how are you doing, my friend? Hey, you wonderful specimen of the human race. Absolutely. Um, well, what was I looking at? Uh, basic ox. Ox, 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 ox over there. Caravan. I kind of get the feeling that either... No, this is made in the creature chamber. Let's check out the creature chamber real quick. We may have to do that one command that we got uh, from... Uh, what was his name again? Uh, something with them. 
I'm so bad with names. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Thank you, Drexak. I was so excited to play. I completely forgot to set my stream information. <laughs> Let's sit quickly, sit, set it. That's that, and while the going live notification, uh, we can skip that. <laughs> yes, Federations is amazeballs. I'm super happy about it. Uh, and we wanted to go to the creature chamber down here. Good. Can we make... Not for that. This is the Orc. Yeah, I don't think the recipe is in. So, we got this re uh, command to basically reset the already researched uh, recipes and to reload all the recipes. And maybe I just didn't see the tab, but here it is. Here is the caravan. Based on arcs, they are slow. 21 kilometers per hour. Uh, they can shoot. Wait, what? Do we have stuff to make this? Oh, cat mix roots. Oh, you also need, what is this? Fetal serum. How do we make fetal serum? Uh, we can't. Well, I'm pretty sure we can, uh, but it's probably not a direct recipe. It would be a shame if caravans are in and we just cannot build them. Federations and Doom and over also uh, Animal Crossing. Don't forget that one. <laughs> um, okay, the buff is slightly, but it's there. They buffed urea production from blood from 8 to 10. Still... Um, the shit recipe currently is better. But question, how do we get fetal serum? It's probably a byproduct of something. We can make it over here. We need silver. Oh god. But that's about it. Well, maybe someone will tell us. Maybe we'll find out at random. Definitely not by full rendering any of these creatures. Good. Uh, let's quickly check before we do the power. Up north. Um, sorry about that. Up here, we have the green science making machine. Uh, actually, it is over there. And we almost made green science. However, the power has shut down. So we didn't get any aluminum in, so we didn't get any duralumine in, so we didn't make any equipment chassis. And also no engines, because you are also missing aluminum. Uh, and you're still missing aluminum. So, let's fix that real quick. So, once we get everything running again, everything will be running. Uh, will this fly? No. There we go. Now, he will be getting aluminum. Uh, you're not getting your pipes yet. Now, you'll also be getting your pipes. 
you're making all the stuff, so everything will be there to... Oh, they're missing. I'm missing the final step over here. <laughs> and at some point, power will be going, so let's just prepare a chest over here for now, where everything will be going in. Good! Hey, love cobblestone forever! Look at it, we have green signs. The only problem is we have no power. So, power is the thing we're going to do next. We're going to rebuild the power plant and do some power calculations. Uh, we're also going to make some of these pump jacks and these oil derricks. Uh, small. This is everything. Oil sands, tar extractor, coal bed extractor. Yeah, this way. Kind of looking if there is... No, there are only... F ah, I'm stuck everywhere. <laughs> what are we missing for this? Uh, probably iron. Iron is fine. Ah, we can make a few of these. So... In the south, we have our power plant, and I just place that thing willy-nilly as I like placing things. But I'm pretty sure it's not running at an optimal pace. And we are going to improve that. Also, last time we built this magnificent fucker to make rubber. <laughs> Got a bit bigger than I thought, but this is making one rubber per second. Absolutely ludicrous. I love it. So, this is our power plant, and most of it is empty and out of it. Uh, and now that I think about it, we should probably pick up some robots to help us with this. Oh, no, we can't. We have no power. So, we have to do it the manual way. So, yeah, start picking stuff up. I have my starter paste, 20 science packs, and uh, one assembler. I've heard many people saying that uh, such things are good. You want to try Solaris and Multiplayer on the weekend? Uh, I'm kind of an experienced master of the universe with about 230 hours and I want to stream it myself. 230 hours! Bloody noob, I'm at 800. <laughs> but usually I play pretty terrible. <laughs> Stellaris is one of my most favorite games. I really, really love it. That's just every time you think, yeah, it's, technically it's always the same. You, you find some stuff, you do this, you do that. And then it just always unfolds in a weird way. But I'm not quite sure if I will have time on the weekend. Uh, I will be uh, playing Stellaris again next Tuesday, but today is Pi Mods until I uh, reach the point again where I had enough of it, which could be something something like 2 a.m. again, like last time. <laughs> also, we're going to pick up all of these. We can finally get rid of them. Oh, this is also going to take a while. Uh, so today is going to be Pies. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Don't Starve Together with Bosch, uh, Tryout Friends. Huggy Beats, uh, Sambers, and I think a, another person, I'm not quite sure. But those are the, the people that have actually um, said that they will be there. Friday will be uh, a two-parter. For you, blue signs in the next hour. Wait. <laughs> well, maybe if you pocket craft the stuff. Uh, Friday will be a two-parter. We will begin with Scary, ga uh, scary Games uh, and Gin and Tonic, and then at some point when Bosch comes along, uh, comes along, we will be playing uh, Deep Rock Galactic with some Gin and Tonic. So that will be Friday. On Saturday... I'm not quite sure if I will be streaming Saturday. Um, Saturdays and Sundays are always... Um, oh, there's quite a lot of tarn here. Yeah, it'll be fine. Pick it up. Oh! 
Does it move the stuff around when you remove this? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> what? I can't pocket craft blue? <laughs> I'm kind of scared now I play in the Dwarf Factory Deep Rock Galactic myself. Yeah, I haven't played Deep Rock Galactic yet. Um, I tried it out on the free weekend. Because Bosch wanted to, but then plans have changed a bit. And as such, we weren't doing it. As we actually wanted to. Let's keep you over here for now. Uh, so I only did the achievement of kicking the barrel, I think, 10 times into the hoop in a row. <laughs> Which was kind of fun. But Deep Rock Galactic seems to be very fun. And uh, Bosch wants to play it. I want to play it. So we're going to play it. And we're going to stream it. Yeah, I have absolutely no clue about the game. I only heard that people love it. And I see people streaming it all the time. So... There must be some things that are good about the game. Um, oh, picking all this stuff up will be so annoying. But we have to do it. Ah! And I just remembered which mod I wanted to install. Can we actually maybe settings, graphics... Yeah. Let's just turn the brightness up a little bit so that you guys can see better. Oh yeah, that looks good on stream. I don't mind the night. Uh, I also don't mind day and night cycles. I just don't like it if it's too dark for people to see. Dragon Girl! Hey, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the music I uh, <laughs> proposed yesterday? <laughs> hey, and Hio! You're also here. Oh, everybody's coming today. Yes, I have a cam now. I decided to show my beautiful mug to the world. And I haven't regretted it yet. <laughs> uh, only when uh, I was talking about the tanks, and then over there. If you know Left for Dead and Starship Troopers, you know the basics. <laughs> Uh, let's see who else is there. Dragon Girl, let's enjoy it. Uh, yeah, Hio, how are you doing? You're still streaming. Uh, uh, what's it called again? Frostpunk uh, sometimes. I Sometimes I just drop in for a little bit. Uh, but then usually I have stuff to do. But in times of this uh, virus outbreak, so many people have so much time on their heads to either watch or stream themselves. It's an absolute blast on Twitch at the moment. It's so much fun. So why am I picking up everything? I want to do the I, I want to re uh, uh, scale the the uh, the balance because technically we never ever did a balancing thing. We just placed everything down and said, yeah, this will be fine. It was fine for most of the time, but it did back up and back down sometimes. So we are going to remake this whole thing, make it beautiful, make one of these. Beautiful frost punk like spire structures in the middle. <laughs> and make a decent power plant for the ages. We will also have to move these, yes. Uh, can we make one of these? No, we are missing steel. Let's pick up some steel. Too many personal things going on, so... Oh, wait, what are going on at the moment, sadly, so I don't really stream that much lately. Aww. I hope everything's alright on your end. And I can't do that, I'm always greedy on resources. That's the only pro tip you will ever need more. Ah, oh, kickstarting this factory. This will be so atrocious. I do. The, the thing is, if you have a big factory where you pre-process your your fuel, 
and the whole thing just completely blacks out, then you actually have to keep the power going until uh, everything starts up again and you can uh, make the power so that you can sustain yourself. So we ha quite literally have to kickstart this whole thing. Give it enough power so that the cycle completes once, and once the cycle completes, it will continue cycling. But if we do not manage that, then we have basically wasted some resources. So this is going to be very, very interesting. I've got one sick uh, friend with intensive care because of Corona. That's very sad. But he's a heavy smoker. Oh, that's not good. And has chronic diseases. That's even terrible. But he's young, so he's still probably going to do good. I wish the best for him. And I do hope that he will be viewing your streams soon again. Yeah, in my office, most of the people have already uh, either called in sick or called in absolute home office so that they are just sitting at home. <laughs> and I think they're working. I have no clue what they're doing. Uh, place everything there. We have to move the chest. There we go. We hope he'll soon be better. Yes, I also wish the best. We have also a few design flaws over here. I'm working and side watching. Yeah, I did the same today on Bosch's channel. Yeah, these are a bit annoying. Ah. We never ever made a valid storage for these, so I just basically put them in the middle and hoped that everything would be fine. Got myself Hollow Knight and Forts. I'm training Forts, uh, but I'm terrible at both games. You know what's the best thing about a computer game? Being terrible at it. It's so much more fun. Because then you learn how to play it. You then have a better experience. Once you get really, really good at the game, sometimes it just gets boring after a while. I can't play Civ 5 anymore, but because every time I just sit there, yeah, I do this, I do that, and then I've won. And then I go like, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I haven't played Civ 6 much. Uh, I do also want to play that sometimes. Um, but, yeah. So many things to play, so little time. It's always the same. I think it was the last of the iron chests. Yes. And Dragon Girl, aren't you going to start your stream soon? Are you just here for another cheeky raid? <laughs> So, pick up this, pick up that, pick up everything. Uh, this is also only a temporary facility, so we are going to break it up. Main reason we built this was to make plastic. We have tons of plastic now. We may also disconnect some other things here and there. So, Pump for Doom, when is it coming out? Tomorrow is it, isn't it? Yeah, today is the 19th, and tomorrow it should be coming out. <laughs> Dragon Girl, isn't your stream starting soon? Or are you just here to get another cheeky rate out of me today? <laughs> Yes, in an hour. Oh yeah, I left work early today because I really wanted to play some games. <laughs> put this in and then... Okay, maybe just put everything into the air for now. That will be our construction box. Oh, picking up the stuff is so annoying. Oh, I found two more of these boxes. Where did these come from? Well, iron oxide. Iron oxide, we're probably going to make all of this stuff into iron at some point. Boop, there it goes. 
Still tons of space in there. Doom Eternal, I'm really looking forward to it. I played the old ones until Doom 3. That was my last Doom. Doom 3 was also pretty amazing. I recently bought it again on Steam for five bucks. And I played the new Doom. Well, not the Eternal Doom, but the Doom after that recently. Which I also very enjoyed. It's just... Yeah, you just sit there, killing demons. Go it, not go at it non-stop, and it's just so much bloody fun. <laughs> Highly recommend it. And Doom Annihilator, who is always uh, also often in my chat, is also highly anticipating the new game release. He actually played all the Doom games out there, also with all the good mods, uh, the 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 hardcore mods for Doom. Uh, so he's also pretty much expecting the game to be good. <laughs> but I'm saving for Biomutant when it comes finally out. Biomutant, what is that? I haven't heard about that one. And I have Doom 3 code list with a number written. I should be looking what I'm doing. Like eight different colors and glued together with coffee. Wait, what? <laughs> I have my Doom Tree code list with numbers written in like eight different colors and it's glued to. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Doom. Not quite sure if I have time for Doom. I will probably be playing at some point, but I will not be part of the initial release wave of it. I would rather play some more Factorio. <laughs> but for Friday, uh, Scary Games and Gin and Tonic. Uh, the Scary Game will be uh, a game in my library, which I also haven't played at all. I think I played it for maybe an hour or two, but then I just got... Bored for it because I didn't want to be that scared. So not really bored with it because more of it like like I wasn't in the mood to get scared. But now that we have gin and tonic and scary games, I do have some games in my library that I do want to play and do want to get a little bit into the action of. Uh, Heinche, absolutely. Don't buy Bethesda games right off the bat, but don't forget, Bethesda is only the publisher over here and not the actual developer, so things should be fine. We almost got it! Only took like 30 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, Black Mesa. Oh, yeah, Half-Life uh, Alex is also coming out. When is that coming out? Is that also coming out tomorrow? No, no, Half-Life Alex is coming out on Monday. Uh, I will be streaming that because I do have a VR system. So why not make use of it? But I will probably not be streaming it on Monday because on Monday I actually have... Oh, God, my schedule will be so full. <laughs> on Monday I have um, uh, my Dungeons & Dragons group. Which we're finally playing again, and I'm so super happy about it. Uh, we moved everything to online so that everyone can get it into their own personal schedule, which is super nice. So I only have to prepare uh, all the maps to be put in into the online mode. And then we're going to play some uh, of that stuff online. We will not be streaming that. Uh, the people I play with, they are absolutely not doing good on camera. <laughs> I never thought I would ever say that, but the new Half-Life does not interest me in any way. <laughs> Factorio, also known as Cookie. Wait, what? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> you mean here uh, Bio... What is it? Bio... Biomutant? Bio, 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 scroll, 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 scroll. Biomutant, yes, I had it in... ...correctly. Good! Hey, look at this! We have space to work with! 
Tons of space! Now, we may still have the coal line over there. I mean, moving that thing, uh, we could do it. But not quite sure if we really, really want to do that. So, the first order of business, we're going to make some power. And how are we going to make power? Well, we are going to do the uh, Zengas power recipe. Because we were having good experience with that. Uh, Tall oil is something we do not have access to, I think. Oh, we can make it out of naphtha. But naphtha is a oil processing thing, so that's something not, uh, not something we're going to do. Uh, then over here... Uh, the coal gas recipe, we're not going to do syngas, is so much better. Uh, deeper rain... Um, not quite sure if we want to do that. We're not going to burn organics. Uh, we're not going to burn crude oil. We're definitely going to do, again, the fuel oil. But instead of making crude oil out of tar, like we did over here, we are actually going to tap actual crude oil. We have quite a few fields over here, and we will be using these for power for now. Uh, there are quite a lot of... There are so many resources around here. It's so insane. <laughs> uh, Frostpunk, yep, that's that winter-style um, game. They're still trying to beat the DLC. Is it that hard? Maybe I should take another look at it. Because Frostpunk, I did really enjoy it. Uh, I also... That's probably also part of the performance issue I had. Uh, I always had some, some minor performance issues on my rig. Uh, playing some games. And I always thought the reason for that was uh, the... Uh, not the emulation, but by running it in Wine and in Proton. You do sp tend to spend more resources to make the same stuff happen. And it wasn't until... Well, sometime... I think it was January. Where I realized I was using my CPU to... Um, uh, to render the stream and it was running at 100% all the time so I switched it up and now we're actually using the GPU to do some of the rendering and the games will probably run so much smoother because I did dislike that Frostpunk was feeling a little bit sluggish as I was playing it but that problem is probably gone now so yeah, we should probably take another look at it soon. Uh, Hio, do you know? Is there maybe yet another DLC coming out? Because maybe then I'll just wait for the next DLC and just do them all in fun fell swoop or something. The Fall of Winter Home is kindergarten compared to this year. Oh. <laughs> I remember Fall of Winter Home. That was such an amazing scenario. The Frostpunk, the game. For its base concept that you basically uh, have a city builder, the missions they created are so absolutely bloody brilliant. Wasn't expecting that good storytelling and that good gameplay features in a city building game, basically. Especially in the Fall of Winter Home, where you begin with this huge ass city and at the end you just rip everything up so that you can get everything out of the city. And you leave no building standing because you need all those resources. That was just so much bloody fun. Good. This is also gone. Are you going to break down the factory for the rest of the game? No, we're done. We are going to remake the power plant. That's the problem we had. And we also have to... Good, then I'll wait for that DLC, because my schedule at the moment is way too full. And once that one comes out, we are going to play some more Frostpunk. So, we are going to go for Syngas. Um, each one of these powerhouses needs... What is your crafting speed of a powerhouse? Crafting speed is one. So, each one of these needs one coke per second. Uh, we are going with ten of these combustion turbines. Ten of these combustion turbines require 600 uh, combustible uh, stuff per second. 
So, we are going to have to make uh, 3, 6, 12 powerhouses. So, we do need to make 12 coke per second. Uh, just mass resources and pay for money? Basically. Uh, you also have some enemies sitting around. Uh, I can't sh currently show anything because we're out of power. And... It's basically one big ass uh, resource escalation problem because you always expand, you need more stuff, then you place more stuff, then uh, you process more advanced stuff and it always escalates and escalates and escalates until you come at a point where you just have this big ass thing of a factory uh, and you have absolutely no clue how it actually got cobbled together. And you belt things around, you pipe things around, you do things on trains to move it around, etc, etc, etc. Absolutely bloody amazing. Good. Uh, this stuff makes a destructive column over here. Yes. Destructive column makes two coke per second. So we're going to need six of these. I'm just going to place them as ghosts just to give me a sense of scale. Six of these. Powerhouses 12. Twelve powerhouses, six of these to feed these with the coke. The water is a water cycle, so we can't ignore that. The thing is, however, we can't ignore. Um because we also need 400 syngas per second. Is this correct? Yeah, if we have 12 of these, we need 1,200 syngas every 3 seconds. So, divided by 3, 400 per second. This boy over here, where is it? Yeah, you. You make coal gas. And to make syngas over here. Uh, 3 of these make 70. Ah, that's already a bummer. That means we are going to have an imbalance. Uh, 70 syngas. 3 of these make 70, so 6 of these make 140. 280, what do we need? 400. 420 is the number we could make. Nice. <laughs> so we're going to make 420. We can maybe uh, tweak it a bit by... Uh, Regulating the input, but 420 is the thing that we're going to make. So we are, are going to have a little bit of an access which we will be able to store. Or which we should maybe even vent. We're definitely going to store the stuff. Uh, and Drexak, have to leave. Leg day today. Oh, <laughs> never skipping leg day. Well, I skipped every training day, sadly. So I have actually maybe to do a little bit more. And... Boss, we need resource X injector B right now. Boss, yeah, just walk 50 miles south, turn the right, and then you'll find it. Yeah, basically this is it. Uh, we also have a vehicle over here. We should actually maybe pick him up real quick. Ah, uh, yeah, let's pick him up real quick. Because we're playing with some uh, alien life extending mods, we do have access to some helpers. Most of this is also based on biological processing, but also on genetic engineering. And if we do have to walk long distances, then we have Crawdad over here. And Crawdad is bloody amazing. Look at him. He's a little, little craw. And you can go in, and then you can walk around. And he is so much faster than walking everywhere yourself. Oh. Do have to be careful, he does like to crash into stuff. And he has a hard head, so when he crashes into stuff, he will break that. <laughs> Raw that. Good, back on topic. So, three of these make 70. This is 140. This is 280. Every second. Um, 280, and this is 420. So this is the amount of gasifiers we need 
to make the sin gas that we can feed into here. Then, what else do we need? Uh, we do need to make coal gas. So, how much have we? We have, I think, 12. 18. 18 of these guys. 18 of these guys require uh, times... F um, yeah, it divides the 18 to the 6 of these. 300 coal gas. No, wait. I am miscalculating everything. 18 of these times 50. That's like 900. Yep, 900. And then divide it by 3. That's 300 coal gas per second. This thing over here, we have 6 of. Um, I should write this down. 300 per second. Because I will forget... With six of these, these make 80 coal gas per second. So we do need to enhance it with some more coal gas. And there is another coal gas recipe over here. We can make it out of tar. Um, or are there even other means of making this stuff? Uh, what, what the hell is this recipe? That's absolutely energy inefficient what's happening over here. 20 coke, make one ash, 20 coal gas, and 20 tar. No. Uh, we're not going to do wood, so we are going to go the tar way. And the tar, three of these make another 200. So we have six of these. Those make 80. 200, 480. We need 300. Oh. We could run them a little under. If we make 280, we are missing... What is this? Like 10%. We're making 420, so... Uh, uh. And here, thanks for sticking around. Gotta leave now. And got some noobing around to do in forts. Have fun, my friend. And thanks for dropping by again. I should rate you soon again soon. So once you're streaming again, maybe you will get a rate. It's been a while. You were also one of my first viewers. So that's also pretty amazing. So have fun, mate. Or we place one more. Make more coal gas. But then we would... No, no. But if we underperform... Then the whole balance shifts and everything will be even more terrible. But then again, um, the only thing that then will shift is the creation of sin gas. Not the creation of... Yeah, no, but, but then these would choke out at some point. So we do have to balance it. Ah, annoying. We could, however... Yeah, look at this. We also have these over here. We're also making some coke uh, for the factory. So we could just double this one up and say, make two of these. Then we have 12. Um, so we're not making 80. We're making 160. And then maybe add another three. So how many is this now? This is 15. If we have 15 of these. Um, so that would mean that we would be making 200 coal gas. And we need 300. But then... No, no, that's a stupid idea. I don't... No, 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 no. Then we would kind of choke ourselves out over here yet again. <sighs> Complicated. Complicated. If we double this... We would require 600. We would be making... No. Or... Oh, 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 oh. I have got an idea. We can't omit making coke over here by using this recipe. This does make us a lot of tar. But this also makes us a lot of tar. Um... And this doesn't even require that much tar. But this then requires a source of coal gas, which is over here, this tar. You make 250 tar. Mm -hmm. 
if we leave these ones out and use this to make coke two of these make uh one coke per second and what was it that we need uh we need 12 coke per second so we would be needing 12 of these that's 12. wait we need 24. Two of these make one per second, yeah. Then we could be making this coke recipe over here. And directly make the coal into coke. We have 24. So this would be making two of these. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I think I miscalculated. Put this away. Two of these make, because they have crafting speed 0.5, two of these make five coke every two seconds. So two of these make 2.5 coal per second, uh, coke per second. This is five. This would be 10. And then this would be 12.5. We would be a little bit over, but that should be fine because then the excess we can maybe even feed back into the factory or it doesn't really matter. This, this should be fine. Then you can be f uh, fueled up over here. This is six. Yeah, this is three. Good. Then we only have to solve the tar issue. We have 18 of these. 18 of these, six. Uh, where is it? Uh, 180 tar per second and you require more well that should be fine but these also require 300 per second so we still could double it up to 600 and then we could place three lines of these um so that would be then this with double this double this and then double this into into double this <laughs> so that would be our power plant more or less nice <laughs> now we only have to build it and input would be cool and tar we would have to have an active tar making thing somewhere um how much tar would this require it would require 750 tar per second that's a lot of tar that's a... No, wait, less. We have 36 of these. And 36 of these uh, is like 12 of these times 360 tar. So we need 750 over here. We get 360 out. So we do need some kind uh, like 360 tar going in. And we do need to make some coke. We can maybe use this as a tar making thing. Else we are going to make some tar out of... Stone. That could be a thing that we can do. 